Hey, what's going on you guys? I haven't talked to you guys in a while. I'm not going to say seen because A, I haven't seen you guys and B, just I don't have a B. But anyways, this is Destiny Beta. As you see right here, that's my PSN. This is for the Sony PlayStation 4. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm actually glad that I have it. And then, as you can see right now, I'm at the beginning. I'm only like level 5, something like that. But I'm far enough in where I can kind of make a let's play and all that. And as you can see, there's Earth, and then there's a tower. I'm going to start off on the tower. This is your little hub for everything that you can do in Destiny. Like where you buy your stuff, upgrade, get mail, or air quote, mail. And just interact with people. If you're familiar with World of Warcraft, this is your Orgrimmer of World of Warcraft. Just kind of go and chill, hang out with people virtually, I guess. But there's no text chat that I know of, and no voice chat that I know of. I haven't played that long. It's only been out for about five, six hours now. So, yeah, that's that. It was a pain to actually get because PSN was down right when it launched and the Destiny site crashed because of all the traffic going in to the site and so it was a big pain for me to actually get the stuff to play so it just was a big big mess so that's what I have to say about that and as you can see there's a real dude right there I have my control set weird but you can push like circle and then I'll say interact, you can push start, invite to fire team, inspect player view, profile report, etc. And then there's the postmaster right there. And as you can see, the game looks really, really beautiful. And let's see what this dude has to say. You actually have to hold the button and select. So I'll take that. I don't know what decoding is yet, but it's there. And it's just a nifty game. It reminds me a lot of Borderlands and a lot of Star Wars The Old Republic. Just not messed up and not glitchy. And so let's see. Accept invitation. I'm kind of learning what I'm doing as I'm going along. So that's why you're going to see me like pause and just kind of look around and do all that. Because I'm very confused at some points. But... Oh well, I'm trying to figure out if this is like real story stuff or what Because I think this is like real missions that are in the game. But I'm not a hundred percent sure So here is my character. It's a female. It's a hunter that matters. And then there's roster and Character and the roster this shows who's all in the same area that you're in and as you can see there I am and then there's my character and then I'm gonna level this up so or upgrade it so Throwing knife from a distance. Bam. I don't know how to do it, but I got it now. And then here's my gun. It's a pistol. And actually, I'm going to change it to this. And then there is my special, which special is you, like your, you switch weapons, and there it is. And then here's my gear. Level 30, 22. So I can sell some of this stuff. That's actually better. 24, 38. And that is better, but I have to be level 6. So one more level. And then that's what I got. So there's my inventory. And... Still trying to figure out where to sell stuff and how to do all that, but in time. And then, alright, so I'm going to go to a real mission now. So if you push the little uh, touchpad thing, you t push it, and then the bottom left hand corner, you hold the triangle, and it'll take you back to the little hub. And I really, really hope they fix this because it's getting really aggravating, the really long load times between certain areas. It reminds me like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which I did a Let's Play on that. And the loading times just become unbearable. And then, okay, so here is the little hub for the beginning area at least on where to select your missions. They'll be going like this, they'll be like a halo effect. And then, so you click it. And then it says the difficulty, and I guess you can change the difficulty, which, what's the difference? Besides level, I wonder if there's like better loot or whatnot, but anyways, that's that. 
And so now you're going to wait for the little countdown, and then you're going to launch off, and then get welcomed with another long load time. So we'll watch this, and then let it load, I presume. There's reports of Demon Guardians went dark near the old Skywatch. They were running a mission for dead orbit, had codes to a hidden array that could reconnect us to other colonies in the system. If we can find their ghosts, maybe we can open that array. I just realized as that was loading that you're probably getting a bad echo from my monitor so I just turned that down so hopefully you guys won't hear that anymore I don't know if you guys even noticed but I was looking at the Elgato program and saw a lot of noise and I wasn't talking okay so in the top left you're gonna see like your little radar type thing and it'll show you where the enemies are by it will go red and so it'll tell you how it is I'm kind of digging how like everything works because it re like it feels like Borderlands. The art style reminds me of Halo, obviously because Bungie made it, but it also reminds me of Star Wars: The Old Republic, and that's not a bad thing to say. I like the art style, and I like the gameplay mechanics of Borderlands a lot, so that's not bad. So if you push down the touchpad, you hold square, and that, or at least on PS4 and how mine's set up. That'll give you your little vehicle, which looks like a Star Wars hover. I forgot what they're called. A uh, land speeder. It looks like a land speeder a lot. And it feels... It's just... It's kind of weird. Like, you can tell it's anti-gravity because it doesn't have, like, any lag, any delay, and all that. So, so far things are just pretty damn cool. And the only thing I can say is I don't think that uh, FPS is a steady 60. I don't think it's 60 at all, actually. It feels more like 30. That or it's just because I get, it feels like there's dips from time to time because it becomes a little bit choppy. It's not like a 5 FPS choppy like you would notice on PC gaming, but it feels like if it was 60, it feels like it would dip to about 35, 40, which is still playable by all means. But hopefully that'll be fixed. But so far, I just, I like it a lot, because it's fun. I went out to go to the post office, actually, and I was kind of just thinking, I was like, I want to go play this. I was going to go stop by Starbucks and play my 3DS for a little while, and I ended up turning around, just because I wanted to come back and play. And that's saying a lot, because lately, I haven't been playing video games, hence the reason why I haven't been uploading a lot to YouTube. So that's... That's just saying a lot, and it's a really damn good thing if I do say so myself. That's what I got. I'm actually going to cut the commentary short and just let you guys enjoy the gameplay that I'm providing right here. And just leave in the comments what you guys think, and if you guys have it, add me, X Spartan War X, and we can play. Alright, peace.
ghosts. They're in a clearing between buildings not far from here. The ghosts are still here. The fallen have them. It's dead. Keep hunting. Find another one. This one still holds the codes. Let's find the array. darkness is growing stronger. We have to finish this. The array control station is in the next sector. Approaching the control station. This is it.
There's the controls. I'll see if these codes still work. Okay, negotiating crypto systems. Shore resistance security lattice verified. It's working. Outside, the array. It's opening. Amazing. It's activating. Hive two ships. Cutting through. It's connecting to defense constructs all across the system. There could be something out there. Thank you guys for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for all the latest videos that I put out. And here, there's going to be a Destiny beta giveaway that's going to go on. And I have three beta codes to give away. So what you have to do to enter is like the video, subscribe to my channel, and then I'll just pick a random subscriber. And then... I'll send you the beta code in private message, but I will verify that you are subscribed and that you did like the video so no fishy stuff goes on. So yeah, stay tuned and good luck.